hunted by the law. Sheriff, wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that Ryder just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kid. I don't know what just happened to the song. Bro. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of when undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. No, no. Just, Just let, let go. go. go, 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 go. <gasps> so Alice is dead? That's crazy. Has she been dead the whole time or what? We've just been out here acting a fool. You can never tell with this I game. I felt groggy. Whatever what Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like meat? this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Yo, let me out, bruh. Move. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Why, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. I think you just be stealing people's this ideas. Way, Alan. Sedating them. Let me look over here. I ain't dealing with you. I'm out. Yo, that's pretty cool. Look at that. They got some good art. What? <laughs> Yo, he couldn't do it. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. We he talked had to be Barry, bro. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. 
Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. What happened to your nose? So when I punched you for real, I punched you for real. So I ain't tripping. Never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the Oh, that's forecast. cool. Look at that. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. I've never seen a game Alan, do that what before. what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my do nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's ah, trash, yeah. of course, yeah. but it I'll does involve some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Oh, turn up. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Welcome to Calderon Lake Lodge. We're here to give you specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and periods of creativity. Also, please reflect, uh, respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space especially when they're engaged in their creative process. To be patient, typically our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntary receiving treatment that has been spe uh, specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. That's pretty nice. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. 
Oh, water storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, <laughs> Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy <laughs> like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Let's see what this says. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Oh, um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, hard go. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's Boy, the one. Spitting. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, <laughs> old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, <laughs> so tired. Built the farm close to the lake, a place of power. All right. We had parties there, man. You, you should go there and have a party. <laughs> he sounds like Chong. That Bob Balder threw the amp through the window. Hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head. Fifteen stitches of a concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. Damn. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. Pfft, bad scene. 
You know what I noticed? Uh, notice some, oh, here we go. That's what I was like, where's the freaking subtitles? I am tired, man. So tired. All right, let me get out of here. I, yeah. I, uh, <clears throat> I want to go home. Come on, let's go. Get up. The one who flew over the cuckoo's nest. Let's make it happen. Take that. I'll do that, Birch. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Appreciate you, brother. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. Change it up. Write that you were free, and none of their spells work on you. Hey, you guys want to check that QR code out? Go for it. I'll set it up for a second. I don't know what it's going to take you to, though. Uh, Hold on. Let me check it. I'm going to bring my phone up and check it. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along okay. for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. <laughs> it's some Alan Wake thing. It's like a minute and 15 seconds long. Um, I'll watch it later. Yeah, that QR code will take you to some YouTube thing. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. room that's Lane's room locked haha <laughs> what you got in here bro candy what is this flashlight He's definitely um, drawing some pictures of the stuff we've been doing. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? All right, brother. You go downstairs. 
Oh my escape. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hair? I don't know. Here's, up. Here's a friendly poke from me all near wench. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Oh, they didn't knock Sinclair her out. looked bad. That wasn't a love well, tap. The crazy old fart hit her fast, hard. If she was one of Hartman's nah, goons, nah, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's all office. Yours, he had taken Save all my manuscript destiny. pages. That's my store. To keep me I'm taking it. <laughs> Come out and face the music, birds. He hit her in the head with the hammer for real. <laughs> the markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't believe that. Right. Just get him here. I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. Rudolph Lane's case is interesting. He was completely blocked, and frankly, I was about to discard him as useless. However, once Wake arrived and started writing, something changed in Rudolph. He's producing extraordinary work, increasingly dark pieces. Unfortunately, he doesn't respond to direction at all, and it's my belief that he's not so much a creator as an illustrator, perhaps, a recorder of sorts. I hadn't considered the existence of such a role before, let alone its implications, but the paintings he has produced are informative. At least he's easily controlled and useful. I wish I could say the same about Wake. It's frustrating that the best subjects are always so damn difficult to deal with. I'm buying that. That was Kayleen Wheeler, and this is the only place he could have gone. That means Wake is probably there too. Agent Nightingale. This is private property, and I will not allow you to disturb my patients. Yeah? I can get a warrant. How are your fragile little patients like that? <laughs> oh, I'm thoroughly intimidated by your mighty authority now, Agent. Listen, you smug snob. <laughs> How would you like it if I busted through this gate and knocked you around a little? Agent Nightingale, first of all, I'm recording this conversation, so you might want to watch what you say. Secondly, you're not dealing with a hick now. I know the law, and if you can get a judge to grant a warrant, I'll be glad to cooperate. But you won't get one. 
be advised that any further communications with me are to be made through my lawyer. I don't believe this. Good day, Agent. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, Nightingale's out of control. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time, and he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Two days. Yeah, he messed up. Should have never pressed me like that. Let me check out this map real quick. Then we're gonna get um we're gonna go down to that farm. She was popping. Where's the farm up? photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Oh, we gotta go this way. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? Barry? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to shred! Barry? Barry, what you doing, bro? Ow, about time. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. <laughs> yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. I think he's stuck. Hartman wasn't happy. Let's see if I'm still stuck. I'm freaking stuck, man. What are we supposed to do here? Restart the checkpoint. But it could be my only chance of getting out of here. I don't know what happened, but I was stuck for real. Alright, they pick up the page. Afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Cracked that head open, didn't he? All right, let's go. Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? <laughs> it's my store. I'm taking it. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get destiny. to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. Come out and face the music, Birch. It's time to pay the piper. All right, I don't think we need to hit this again, the but we're going to. The tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the Can sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Do you mean with you? No. Not they won't let me skip it either. No, never. I. Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? 
I'm gonna do your crazy quack ass to shred! Barry? Ow! About time! Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. <clears throat> oh, perfect. We got the revolver back. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back Shh, into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Damn. We just fed him to the darkness. <laughs> We need to find a freaking um flashlight. It's like some poker guys nonsense. Bro. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Upstairs. Damn. Supposed to go when it was on? That was dumb. That was dumb. Alright, I'm out, bro. Go. Man, get out of here. What the hell is going on? You're telling me to focus.
shit crazy, bro. Trying to come go over there as fast as I can. We're gonna take this road. No, they coming for me, bro.
Yeah, they are, bro. They're coming for me, I know. Stuck in this damn corner, bro. Yo, this is crazy. Like he's he is he's still doped up, man. This ain't the Alan Wake I know. This is strange. Man. This is this this is not this Alan fake right here. You can't even dodge, man. What's going on with you? Got your equilibrium equilibrium on off and everything. Making me look weak out here. <laughs> You're making us look pathetic, bro. All right, as long as you can see that light up there, we know where we're going. Just go towards that light will be good so I'll keep saying and then we keep running back to the same spot all right come on take a right I don't mind fighting them in this open space. frustrating that um
me fighting it makes people sad. Bro, I know they ain't got Barry, bro. You get two pounds in the morning, and then you'll be nice and calm all day. <laughs> Come get this one. Bazooka. I need that. There we go. I need that. I need a light, bro. I need some kind of flashlight, man. Yo, brother. Yo, Alan. They just disrespected me now. I ain't never been beat up like this. It's a sad moment in my career. The Allen is getting beat down like this. He's not even fast, man. Okay, I see the little box up there. Good. I don't know. Ridiculous too. batteries come on bro we got to catch up Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars when the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front, and he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. 
That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and step out into this light. We're going to take this moment to go ahead and end this episode of um, this episode 4. When we come back, we'll go ahead and finish it up. That way it'll save um, when I'm trying to uh, upload the video. It won't take as long. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And I appreciate you guys checking it out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.